Hey, how's everybody doing today? I was asked to uh, make some icebreaker cards for a ladies' conference, and I was presented with a uh, Word doc with 50 questions, and they want them made into cards. So I'm going to have to print them and then cut them. And rather than cut by hand with a scissors or a paper cutter, I decided that I was going to use my laser because, hey, everything's easier with the laser. So what I did, I'm in Corral, and I'm actually I'm I'm almost done with the with the formatting, but I started with a letter size page, and we uh, determined the size of the square and the font that we were going to use, and then I said, gee. You know, I start putting them together, and I said, you know, if I go page after page and nothing is, nothing is the same, it's going to be a bear trying to cut these with the laser. They all have to be printed in the same place. So in order to accomplish that, I made these, and I'm going to hit the lever Z for zoom. Oops. Can I do that with this? Yes, I can. Okay. And uh, with the screen recorder, you sometimes you hit the wrong button, it'll stop or pause your, your recording. Anyway, right here, these guides, I placed in these guides so that I can, and then I went to um, View, Snap to Guidelines, okay? So real easy to put a guideline in you just go over here to so you go to rulers grab with your left mouse and put a guideline wherever you want it and I had determined where I wanted them so I'm not gonna do that here and then I did so I so I made two horizontal guidelines and these two vertical guidelines and then when I place something, I have, all I have to do is go like, kind of, kind of edge in on it, and you'll see that thick blue line. That's your snap to your guidelines, and that makes it going to be. It makes it going to be. That's English. It makes it going to be <laughs> right where you want it every time. All right, so. Um, give you an example that's your H to move the screen over back here so what does your first name mean so I'm going to go to the next one on my list I did that one so I'm going to highlight that control C I'm going to copy this from a word doc and then tab alt to bring it in into uh, Corel I'm going to double click on the text, highlight the text, control V for Victor. And now we will just take out the spaces and we'll try to make it fit. On your page. And so that's a little tight, but it will work. So now we'll group or we'll the letter E, hit the letter C, and now we're going to duplicate that, and with that layer still duplicated, still highlighted, the one you just duplicated, you see your crossbars there, hit your right mouse button, go to group, and what you've done is you've grouped that top layer, and now you just bring it over, edge in on it, and see it wants to be on that bottom, that's not where I want it there and there it is now remember that was the top layer that we grouped the bottom layer is still not grouped so go back to alt tab grab the next one control c copy that highlight our text control v for for uh, pasting that's not going to work, so we got to do F, favorite, favorite. Those are long words. I, I have just 
less than uh, four inches and they wanted this font size. So that's where we're at. So B, C, Control D, right click, group, grab it, come over here, hit center on that guideline. Next one in Word, you know how to copy paste, right? Get to the, so here we are again, control V, your television show, I don't know these questions, I haven't read them. I do sort of check television, let's go show. Did you enjoy as a child? EC, Control D, right mouse click, group, come over here, sneak up on it. There we go. Now that's a good time to save your work. And, um, Grab the next one. Control C. B. Backspace. One thing. One thing. Change one. Could change one. If you could, that didn't work. That's still long. Maybe. If you could. Change one thing. See, we have to keep what they wanted. They wanted that font size. They want them all the same. So, E, C, sorry I go so fast. It's been on this program for many, many years. So, I forget that I'm trying to teach you. Okay, Control D is in David. That duplicates it. Make sure you, you get that crosshair there. Right mouse click, group. All right, now this one here, we're, we're actually already on this page, so let me cut, I mean, we just, we should have made a new page, but we didn't. So I save that. So now I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna come down here. Notice I'm already at 12 pages, because I've been doing this for an hour and grab and make a new page and now I'm going to paste that actually I'm going to duplicate that because we need one up here so this one we'll just put here right mouse click and ungroup okay now we need to go back to word actually we only have two more copy that Musical instrument. Have you ever played? E, C, Control D for duplicate. Right mouse click, group. Grab that guy. Sneak up on your guidelines. There you go. Now, tab alt. This looks to be the last one. Alright. Here we go. What Christian song inspires you? Alright. E C. Being this is the last one, I'll just I'll just group this. We don't need that anymore. And we'll come over here. Save. Now I'm going to show you here. We are on page 13. So here's page 12, page 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. You get the idea. So that's the questions. And they're all in the same place. So here's what I'm going to do from here because 
Remember, my laser engraver doesn't use a, a letter size. It uses a, um, actually it's a 24 by 12. So let's go to page one, see where we are. All right. So I'm going to, and maybe I should have done this going along, but control G and group all those. And I should probably do that on all the pages. Control G, Control G. All right, I'll do the rest later off camera. All right, so this is my first one, page one. So I'm gonna Control C to copy that. And I'm going to make a new document. And my default document is for my laser. So I'm going to control V. And also what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make a rectangle. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to make it 8.5 by 11. There it is. Um, uh, like a, it's going to do a one point. Now, in order for me to get this, I could I could sort of go like that and try to get it on that edge, but easier. Let me get this out of out of the way for you. But the easier way is to go to yeah, I'll find it here. There it is. Align and distribute. So I'm going to go align and distribute over here, align to the edge of the page. See that move? And I'm going to align it to the top. And there it is. I'm going to get rid of that toolbox. Now I'm going to right mouse click and I am going to lock that. Now then, when I See, when I bring this in, I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. I'm going to find a nice little place to put a guide. Another little place to put a guide. Something like that. Make sure that the um, snap to guidelines. All right. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to lock that guideline. So I'm going to highlight it, right mouse click, lock. Highlight it, right mouse click, lock. All right, now it doesn't work. So you can't have your guidelines locked. So I'm going to undo that, undo that, undo that. So now my guidelines are are, are active. So now watch what happens. I'm supposed to snap two guidelines. All right. I'll zoom up here. Yeah. Why isn't that working? All right, I just learned something. So I'm going to, uh, I made my guidelines and I just learned that Corel, even I can learn, right? What I learned is that it snaps to the element that's on top. So in order to accomplish that, let's go here. And we are going to ungroup, probably just, yeah, ungroup that, I don't know what, I forgot what I have, there we go. So that's a rectangle. Okay, I'm going to come up here to object, order, bring to front of page. And now I'm going to uh, regroup, control G, in fact, I'll just, Control G on all of it. Now, zooming in a little bit, should, 
there it is. Now you saw that blue line, so now it's snapping to that corner that I want. At first I thought it couldn't it corral couldn't snap to a group, but that's not the case. It snaps to the element that's on top. Now I'm ready to cut this on my laser and and everything should be just lined up perfectly. But the first thing I need to do is print. And once I've printed them, I'll do a couple tests to make sure I've got the laser where I need it to be. Anyway, the purpose of this was not to show you about lasering. The purpose was to show you what the guidelines did and how you could expedite that process of making everything exactly perfect in the same place using the guidelines. Okay, there it is. Hope it helped. I know it helped me. Have a great day.